What's going on you guys? It's Drew, Lefty NTV10, uh, coming back at you with a video from the uh, the porch. Um, I take a lot of my photos uh, out here, the sunlight's always great, so I figured why not try to make a video. Uh, cats out here, Murph's out here, so I may have a few interruptions, but uh, it's Father's Day weekend, um, off. Just super thankful to be spending some time with the family and uh, my own dad, so Without any further ado, I'm gonna jump right in. There are nothing but stunners in this video, so just uh, buckle up. First up, we got an Ed Apaticcio. No idea if I'm saying that right, but uh, this is a really nice one I'm super happy to get. I just love the colors of the sleeves on a few of these Pittsburgh cards. Um, great price on this one as well. It's an SGC4. Uh, it's a 460 30 back, so. Nothing too crazy, but I do like the sweet cat packs. Just a beautiful looking card. Love that one. Uh, next up, I bought this quite a while back. Had it re-slabbed uh, a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, Al Birch, uh, the fielding. Uh, the Birch batting is one of the best looking cards uh, in the set. Super tough SP. Uh, this one's not too shabby itself. Really clean four. Uh, that one is a uh, Sweet Cat 30. Excuse me, 350 Factory 30. So, another common back, but great colors on that. Uh, next up, we got Charlie Rhodes. Good looking portrait. Uh, kinda underrated, I think, this card. Um, got some cool colors there the orange and the red. And this is a four, it's a Piedmont 350 back. You can always tell if you're, if you're new to uh, T206, uh, anything 1910 is gonna be a 350 series card. Anything 1909 is gonna be a 150. Um, if it's like an old mill, they're just gonna put uh, 09 to 11 on it. Uh, I'll show some of those coming up. But you can tell a difference on a Sovereign. Uh, anything with a 150 or a 350 series back, if it says it, uh, so 09 would be 150 series. Uh, 1910 would be the 350, and then anything in 11 would be the uh, 350 to 460. So, quick little little history lesson there. Uh, moving right along. Okay, is super loud. Murphy's being a good boy. Uh, man, I love this next card. So, so, so happy to get this. The color on this is just absolutely fantastic. Blackjack Berry, part of the $100,000 infield. I'm going to let the cat in in a second. Uh, but, man, what a beautiful card. The blue on this is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, Jack Berry was one of the first cards I got uh, ever of a T206. Um, not this one specifically, but it's a Sweet Cap 350 Factory 30. Um, pretty much everybody in the $100,000 infield minus Stuffy McGinnis is in the T206 set. Um, I really want to pick up uh, McGinnis's uh, M1106 uh, Sporting News. But uh, Blackjack Berry, beautiful looking common. Let me let the cat in. I'll be right back, guys. She didn't want to go in when I got up, of course. I'm um, going to jump into some off-backs next. We've got Old Mill. Uh, this is a Dick Egan. Literally bought this card probably nine months ago. I had yet to show it off. Um, probably the ugliest guy in the set. And the wife takes care of the cat. Uh, yeah, probably the ugliest mug in the set. <laughs> Check out those teeth. Uh, it's a three, but uh, just a super nice old mill back. Love this card. Happy to get that. Uh, kind of before the whole off-back craze really got out of control. Uh, let's see. Next up, this is another good example of a card that um, would probably cost, I don't know, 100, 150 bucks today. I think I got it for 70 to Jimmy Lavender. Old Mill, and as you'll see up there, the 09 to 11 designation for the Old Mills. This is a super solid card. 
Uh, how can you not love a name like Jimmy Lavender? Uh, it's a four, so a mid-grade example, and it's an off-back. I uh, really can't beat that. So uh, Let's see. I'm going to save the two big hitters for last, although this one is no slouch itself. Uh, another Hall of Famer, John McGraw, finger in air. So I just need the McGraw portrait with cap to finish up my McGraw run. Uh, this is a Sovereign. It's a really solid-looking three. And it is a 350 back, of course. Oh, camera's out of focus. There we go. 350 back on this Sovereign. Just a really nice green. This card, I was so stoked to get this. Uh, I think it's an undergraded three, personally. I've got uh, worse looking three and a halfs. But uh, glad to have this one. Just a beautiful looking card. Uh, the last two super huge pickups. Um, the difference in value between the Sovereign 150 series and the 350 series, um, you know, normally speaking, the, the 150s command a much, much, much higher premium. So um, I went from having zero of this card to two in literally two days. Um, so I'll show the first one. This one I got from Jay. Thank you very much, man. I'm showing off a bunch that he bought in a lot, and I snagged this one from him. It's a uh, Rube Waddell Sovereign 150. Uh, the Waddell both poses uh, only come in Sovereign. Uh, well, this pose actually only, the, his throwing only comes in Sovereign and Old Mill. It does not have a Hindu. Uh, his portrait comes in Hindu, Sovereign, and Old Mill, both 150 and 350 series. I've got a really nice uh, 350 Sovereign. I don't even think I've shown off yet. Uh, this is a nice raw copy. I'll, I'm undecided if I'm going to keep this raw or get it slabbed. Uh, but then the... Uh, the big hitter to go with it. We got another one. Two and a half, and this one is also a 150. These cards are huge. Um, like I said, with him having limited uh, cards for his off-back variety, they make the uh, Sovereigns extremely popular. And I believe across both uh, PSA and SGC, the 150 is like a pop. I think it was a pop 12 between both. Um, so just a super, super tough card. And to have two of them, I'm, I'm extremely incredible. Uh, thankful for that. So um, enough rambling, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, uh, yeah, just thankful to be able to spend time with my dad. Um, really grown a lot uh, as a person this past year, being a dad um, myself. So uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. Happy Father's Day.